What's up, guys? You can tell this is a little bit of a different angle, different format, as you guys can tell with the title. Going to pick up the Geno uh, 2 Dunk Highs today. Um, very rarely I do I pick up dunks anymore, but I've been digging this whole like reissue series with like the first series with all the Reese Forbes, Molders, and stuff like that. I guess we're going to wait on the Supas to come out, but um, they got the Genos coming out today. I thought I'd go up to my skate shop, West Side Skate Shop, and um, pick them up. Kind of, let's quit talking. Let's uh, go up to like the, I guess, the skate shop. And, uh, See what these shoes look like. Get them in hand. Ryan Little. <laughs> All right, guys. On the way to Westside Skate Shops in uh, Tarpon Springs, Florida, uh, owned by the former pro, the best fucking guy in uh, Florida in the skate scene, John Montesi. He watched the, the Nine Club. Andrew Reynolds talked about how he pretty much uh, kind of discovered him and kind of like kind of supported him through his career when he starts when he started out over in Lakeland. John's from um, I think John's from uh, around like the Tampa area. I don't think and I know Andrew Reynolds is from Lakeland, which is like 30 minutes out of uh, Tampa. So they kind of grew up like skating a little bit together. So check out that uh, nine club with Andrew Reynolds shouts out John Montesi who is like the nicest guy he used to be pro for New Deal it's on Venture Adidas he knows everyone pretty much in the skate scene super nice guy he's pretty much like the the backbone of the skate uh, scene in Florida so I'm gonna go up there that will see John uh, got a lot of kids and shit nowadays so he doesn't really hang out at the skate shop that much but we'll go up there scoop up these shoes and uh get back to the house do a little review on feet and uh, maybe a little comparison of the other Genos and uh see how it goes when we get there and uh i don't think it's the best idea that i'm leaving at three o'clock going on a major road it's gonna hit rush hour so but you gotta get the shoes gotta do what you gotta do right and uh also guys if you guys have been following me you guys know and i've been pretty much starting my own uh i guess clothing brand clothing company it's starting out super small. Basically, the whole idea behind it, I wanted to do a, a video about, like, why I want to do a clothing brand, why I want to do this. Like, my whole, like, you know, reasoning and thoughts. It's just, it's just not to have, like, a clothing brand. But um, I wanted to film this video first since the Geno Dunks come out today. So I think I'll film that, why I'm starting a clothing brand, kind of asking you guys some questions about it um, tomorrow or maybe later this week. Um, but I just wanted to do this video first, but... Um, Along with the, if you guys saw, follow me on Instagram, you know it's uh, called Cipher USA, Cipher US at Cipher USA. If you want to follow for some more updates on the brand, nothing has happened yet because the shirts pretty much have just got finished today. Just waiting on word. They had to finish one shirt, and hopefully later today they'll be done. I can pick them up tomorrow, so we can have some more product shots, and I'll slowly leak out some product shots of the first shirts. Like I said, it's starting out super small. I'm not doing like a tons of shirts. Not it's kind of like a test. It's almost just like a kind of like for me shirts and like friends and family and then of course you have size you have to do minimum so you gotta print a lot so the rest are kind of going out to you guys that um you know if you want them you know so it's just kind of like a test to see if anyone's really digging them and stuff i hope so i think they're cool but yeah let's stay tuned for the, the cypher usa video my clothing brand kind of uh talking about it more in depth and detail for that i'll say later this week but yeah stay tuned for that follow me follow the instagram if you want cypher usa and um should be putting out some cool stuff soon. Hope you guys uh, like it. Alright man, uh, we're finally here after probably sitting in 20 extra minutes of a rush air. Rush air. Uh, let's go inside, see if they got my size. Probably, most likely, Nike SBs aren't what they used to be. They kind of sit back in the day to be lineups, and you kind of never get your size unless you were there. But uh, they probably got my size, so let's go in, grab a pair, and then uh, we'll check them out. I right, just got out of the shop, uh, talked a little bit about all the Geno Alien Workshop Habitat stuff with the guys. Um, of course, they had the they had all the all the shoes stacked up, all the boxes out there. Gino one reissues high tops, super nice. I just simple but like clean with like details, meant to late like little 
perforated all over them. Got the kind of like Yankees colorway. So let's just teleport back to the apartment, do a little bit of review on feet, maybe a comparison to the first ones, and uh, yeah, let's go check them out. All right, guys, and we're back at the apartment. As you can tell, got the Nike reissue Gino ones and a high top. This of course is based off the, the low top version that released a while, maybe 2005, 2004. I think they released the first series, maybe, maybe even 2003. I don't really remember. Um, really got into dunks back in the day when they kind of started to get a little bit recognized. Like when they first came out, no one really knew what was going on and it just kind of exploded. Um, I think around like 2004 area, that's kind of when I started getting into dunks to like 2008. And they just got too wacky and weird and I just, just wasn't into it anymore. But yeah, they're based off this shoe. And I just want to go over the main dip. Well, first off, retail was uh, 110. It's a quick strike Nike high top. 110, 7% sales tax in Florida. 117 total. Not a bad price for a, a collector shoe, for a skate shoe. I think that's kind of pricey, but it depends what you're going to wear them for, or, you know. But yeah, just basing them off, comparing them right now. Uh, of course, the older shoe is going to be better quality because it seems like every single shoe back in the day had better quality. Jordans, Nikes, every, everything. So just based off that, like these are going to be a nicer quality. And you know the crazy thing? These were retail $65. And now shoes are 110 It's pretty crazy. I think wholesale used to be uh, like 35 bucks for the shops too, which is insane. They made a lot of money and then Nike SB kind of screwed the shops a little bit by doing online, selling to Zoomies, selling to all these other places. And they said they weren't going to do it and they did it. So that's my little little rant. But the first thing I noticed is the perforation on, on the toe and all around the whole shoe is a little tighter and uh, there's more of it on the high top than the low top. And also the leather seems a little bit more stiff and plasticky. If you get, look real close, you can tell like this one is almost like a little nice tumbled, like slightly tumbled leather. So that's the big difference. And I also think these the suede on these, I feel like it's almost more, uh, it might be worn down because I've had them so long, but I almost feel like it's more like nubucky and then these, is like a fine suede. It's definitely a different type of suede or nubuck. I'm pretty, yeah, this is definitely a suede, but I feel like these, maybe they're worn down a little bit, but they feel like more nubuck to me. So that's another major difference. And the other difference is the sole. We all know that they redid the sole on the Nikes now. They have a tighter kind of pattern, and then they're just, they got all this little jagged stuff down here. I just, I don't like the sole at all. It felt, it feels, the shoe overall feels more card, cardboard than the originals, a little bit more stiffer. And you know, I don't know, I just can't skate Nikes anyways nowadays. Just I just feel like they're too cardboardy and I can't really feel. Plus I like to support more the, the core brands and stuff like that now. Even though I, I think Adidas makes a better skate shoe and I've been skating Adidas a lot, I'm just trying to get back more into like S, maybe an America. So those are the like Kai, I'm just kind of trying to go back, you know. It just seems like all the corporations are just oversaturating the market. Just kind of wanna, just like sick of seeing it all and just kind of wanna support the skater brands right now. But that's a whole another argument whole another it's like politics and skate shoe uh, game but yeah these were 117 um, fit true to size I got nine and a half um, just looking at them open the box I was like damn like 2005 all over whatever early 2000s to me brought back good memories I think that's what Nike SB is doing with the shoes um, I heard they were struggling Nike SB and Jordan sales weren't as high as they used to be I heard from a sales rep so they're just kind of going back to what really worked for them and had the frenzies like with these they're redoing like the first series redoing all the different other uh, like second, third series dunks, like the sea foams, and they did the orange boxes, stuff like that. They're trying to get back all the people to buy Nikes and dunks again. I think it's a good idea. I personally love it that they're going back to these old shoes because it brings me back to like that era when I just like, was like so in love with Nike and just it brings you back when you're like a kid basically for me because you know, when you get older, it's not as fun. You have more responsibilities than when you at least kind of bring it back to a time where all you have to do is skate. All you have to do, you know, is hang out. But that's where it brings back. That's what. That's why I love it. I mean, you guys might love it because you guys weren't into shoes. <laughs> Maybe we're like too young to even wear shoes like this. But um, so I think it gives, I think it's good. What do you guys think about it? Like, I think it's good they're going back. I don't feel like they're just like running out of ideas. I think it's something that's smart. I think gives the new kids the shoes they might have thought were cool back in the day and they didn't just couldn't get them and the old guys like us it gives us like you know like our stuff we like coveted over like back in the day and a little bit of a different format i'm glad they switch it up and then just doing like a another low top retro so i think that's good what do you guys think let me know overall shoe is a pretty good quality i think it's not as good as it used to be of course but 110 for like a sneaker collector shoe I think it's cool. I mean, 110 to skate a shoe, I feel like it's a lot. 
my cutoff is like 80 bucks. But that's you know that's how I feel. I'm super happy to get them. Love Gino, of course. And um, that's that's the whole shoe, guys. Like you know, let me know what you guys think. I think they're cool. I got that Yankees kind of colorway, but Yankees fan, you can go with that. And I think they're gonna skate super well too. I almost bought another pair to skate, but I've got to save up right now. So that's with all the the, sh the Nike SB Dunk Gino. Um, and I'm just gonna like talk about some other stuff. Um, as you guys know, I started um, a little clothing brand. It started out as pretty much like a, you know, I just, I'm gonna do another video on the clothing brand, but it just started out as something I wanna do. I've been thinking about it for a while. And just like, I just, I just wanted to make stuff for myself. Like I can't find a lot of stuff, so I wanted to make my own stuff. And then you, you know, it's like friends and family, you can all make it, but then let's, let's include like some of the, you know, the other people out there and see if they like it and let's see if we can actually build something. So that's what we're doing at Cypher. Um, follow us at uh, Cypher USA on Instagram and stay tuned for more updates on that. I don't want to make a whole video about this, but uh, I just want to like, give you guys some news. I'm sure it should be done today and uh, hopefully some product shots later this week. So thanks guys for watching. I appreciate it. I hope you liked the video and uh, stay tuned for more updates on Cypher, more Supreme videos when they come back up, and then uh, maybe some more shoe releases, skate shoes. And uh, thank you guys. Uh, and like I always say, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, stay tuned for the next video. Oh,